I love the trees. Oh, oh. Uh, welcome, welcome to um, episode two of Carrington Nature Watch and some amazing news since the last programme. The red-headed subhumanoid Brandon has found a mate. Yes, he's found a mate. And not only that, they've produced a chick, or in more biological terms, a moronette. Earlier this morning, we were lucky enough to capture the happy family frolicking around their den. There's a uh, red-headed subhumanoid Brandon. Followed by the mate. And is that the, yes, I think that's the chick. The chicks, the moronette. Yes. It's come out of the den to see it's probably its first glimpse of daylight. It's a very healthy specimen. The chick is after three days old and, and yet it's, it's reaching maturity. This one looks particularly healthy and its chances of survival look really good. What an amazing, amazing piece of film. After the struggle of two, three months now of trying to find a mate, finally found a mate, produced a chick, actually got it on film, it's just, well, I'm just uh, so elated, euphoric. Another endangered species spotted yesterday. I was wandering through the cornfield, messing about there, and we happened to see a most amazing bird. The stuttering swift no longer flies, flightless, but still migrates. Probably to warmer climes such as Crew uh, or places like that. But a very rapid mover and an unusual sighting captured again on film. Incredible bits of film. Unfortunately, we may not see the uh, stuttering swift now for a few months because of the the migration. But uh, hopefully, episode three, we can get some more film of the uh, progress of the moronette with the red-headed subhumanoid Brandon family. Uh, then we'll keep you up to date with that and anything different that comes into the nature reserve. We'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching.